budget type of thing. Because if you live in Boston, this is the best brunch deal. And yeah, um, the food's really good. Sophie, stop smiling. I'm like, sorry, <laughs> Meredith. I'm going awkward. <laughs> and we'll film when the cart comes out. This donut. This donut is a rhubarb lychee donut. Um, the donut here changes like every week or so. So if you're ever in Boston and you come to this brunch, definitely ask what the donut is because it's always made fresh and the flavors are just like absolutely wonderful. So I'm really struggling putting this donut right now. Yes. They give us like really fancy plates for don't, don't everything. Break them, Wow, I feel so honored. Even the donut is on a really fancy plate. So here we go. Mm. This makes my taste buds happy. And it's so still warm. Mm -hmm. And like there's like little like sugar pearl things on it. So it's like really like nice texturally. I it's not super sweet. Oh, I love these donuts. And also, they are like big enough to share with like three or four people. So it's fantastic. The dim sum card is here. All right, what you got for us? us? We got, all right, so we got the Pretty Pebbles donut over here. We have some little blue Hawaii's. Um, these are a um, strawberry brown sugar cinnamon roll with some matcha frosting. Carrie is a genius. <laughs> um, down here we have the cha nachos. So basically like a little quesadilla with some chana masala down there. Some sauces to go with it. We have a pineapple kimchi fried rice. Um, and then the Pad Pao potatoes. So it's basically our normal chili potatoes with the Pad Pao sauce. Um, and then down at the bottom here, we have some crispy pork rolls with a spicy chili mayo. So the first thing that we tried today was the thing that looks like a quesadilla. It was really, really good. There was a big flavor profile. It was a chickpea curry, a mint um, like sauce, a tomato chutney, and then a white barbecue sauce. And we also had crispy pork rolls, which were like mushroomy and porky with a chili mayo, and then kimchi and pineapple fried rice. Dim sum, where we were finally munching on it. So this is like a quesadilla thing, but I'm just gonna, I don't really know the best way to go around doing this. I don't know. This is how I'm doing it. I don't even know any other way to do it. There. This is one of the few curries I can actually have because there's no coconut in it. Which is really exciting for me because I've never had a little curry before. This is nice. I like the cheese in it too. Yeah, all the sauces have something a little bit different. It creates a good balance. No, this is really nice. Okay. So we finished the first thing. We pretty much devoured it. It was like it was like a really cool flavor profile. I don't really know what type of cheese it was, but there was like like the chickpea stuff was spicy, but the tomato stuff was sweet, and the mint cilantro stuff was like also sweet, but like in a different way. And I don't really know what the white barbecue sauce was. I think it just added another layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of like a yogurty barbecue yeah. sauce. It helped because it was pretty spicy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was it was pretty good. I would get this again, but it's on dim sum, so it's it, you don't know when it's coming back out. Um, yeah, so this is off menu, dim sum cart only. And now on to the next thing. We have kimchi pineapple fried rice. Um, I really am excited to try this. Because I like pineapple fried rice, but I also really like kimchi. So let's give it a shot. So we've dished it out and you know, it's got like rice in it. What a shock, and it's fried rice. But it also has pineapple and some like spring onion stuff and jalapeno peppers, so. It has like an undertone flavor of kimchi. 
wish it was a little bit more kimchi like, but maybe we just haven't gotten there yet. Not in the frame, so we got quick knocking chopsticks. Oh, this is true. Yeah. And, uh, there's like some leafy stuff. You know what this leafy stuff is? Um, I can't figure it out.
sponsor you to do this. I just really like the food here. And I'm a little biased because I do work here and I like working here. But she doesn't work here. And she eats here just about as much as I do. And it's delicious. It's really good. So, open for dinner, brunch on Sundays. It's real good. It's like almost my last day here. But uh, definitely, definitely hit Tiger Mom up if you're ever in the Boston Fenway area. This is Emily. She's great. She's my manager. We love Emily. We're in like five more days. Say hi, guys. Hi. What's up? This hi, is Mama. Kate and Katie. Wow. <laughs> you in here. Hi. This is Marie. She's I'm like my favorite server. This is my favorite hostess. Per usual, I forgot to film an ending while we're like actually in the place we're supposed to be in for the vlog. So, I hope you enjoyed this Tiger Mama brunch vlog. And Sophie and I have very exciting news. In like two weeks almost, I think we're like 15 days right now, yep. Sophie and I are going to be going to Thailand with each other, which is very exciting. And I figured this vlog would be fitting because we were eating like Southeast Asian Thai food for a majority of it, yep. kind of. And so, stay tuned stay for more Stay tuned, on that. yeah. Lots of vlogs coming your way from us yeah. in Thailand. So, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications when I post new vlogs. Bye. Bye.